Okay, hello ambassadors. So, I will be showing to you what are the basics of editing or creating a website using Wix. So in this case, what we have is after selecting the design, this is the, the page that you most likely will be arriving on. Okay, so if you followed the document that was sent, uh, to you as part of your project which is your introduction to blogging and also your introduction to Wix especially on the part of creating your own Wix account then this uh, that document should lead you here okay so before I proceed uh, please remember that Wix is a website wherein the design part is more of what you call a, dra uh, a drag and drop meaning you just drag elements if you want to include a picture you drag a picture here if you want to move the text you drag it around and then you just drop it meaning you let go of your mouse and it will go into that position which makes it a lot more easier for beginners because it skips the programming part because usually when you make websites like this you need to have a knowledge of how to program a website but in our case we'll just skip it and we'll just introduce you to the concept of creating your own website or your blog okay so here in Wix so there's a lot of buttons here and some menus uh, don't be intimidated by them you don't need to learn or even use all of them to create your final project but we'll just focus on a few that you will most likely need okay so the one in the middle is grayed out part this is your workspace this is what your website would uh, temporarily uh, look like while you are still building it we'll see how you can preview or uh, see your website once it's in a published or if people will want to visit your website what would it look like there's a specific menu or button for that but in this case this is like your work area or your workshop or uh, where you construct or build your own website so on the side you have the names of this these uh, buttons once we click something here these tooltips or these names will disappear but you can just hover around them and you will have an idea okay? so if you want to add something like a picture text box a slideshow or something or usually if if the thing that you need to do is to add new elements you click on this add if you want to proceed to the menus and the pages which are these ones here home blog podcast about will break them down later in detail you go to menus and pages if you want to add uh, some more you want to delete some more you go to this one site design will allow you to modify a bit of your website uh, add apps I suggest you just skip this part because for this part uh, you are adding more features for your website you you may explore them later on but for the purposes of this activity I highly suggest that you skip this part so your life won't be more complicated that's why we pick as a design template that is as simple as possible so you won't have to be bothered by this okay, so don't defeat that purpose by adding more apps once you're familiar with Wix feel free to explore it then media this will allow you to manage the media that you have on your website meaning your pictures movies perhaps some audio those kinds of stuff the blog 
will be using this because this is one a, a major part of your project as your project is going to be a blog site after all and you have here ascend business tools you won't be needing this so we won't be touching on this it is more on for the people who create or are creating a website for their business okay so if I click in here as what I said the tooltips will disappear but if you hover on them I'm just moving my mouse over them you will see a description on what they are okay so this is the site itself and if we're going to edit it for example this title here most likely you would want to edit it because it is not going to be the title of your project so if you want to edit elements here on Wix you just click it and then a menu will appear allowing you to change that particular element for example if we go to this one we want to change it and say I click edit text you'll see some menus here what type of heading it is feel free to explore okay, you have some fonts here the fonts are a bit uh, limited okay but you you can stick on here if you want to upload fonts maybe you could experiment with that Usually, the ones that you see here are enough. Okay. So, let's say I want to choose Helvetica Bold. And let's say I want to change the title to my first. Or rather, say Yoni's Blog. I'm not too happy with the font size, so I want to increase. I would want to increase it. Increase it like so. Okay. If you want to change the color, highlight, you're free to do so. Okay. So like that. So it's as simple as that. Treat a bit, treat it like your text boxes and your images on Microsoft Word. If you want to change this background over here, you may change it as well. If you if you wish to do so, so just click and change strip background, and then it will allow it will give you some options here to select. For example, let's say you want. Um, this one so it will change it to that okay. if you want it to be a video it might take a bit longer but these are just the simplified videos okay, so as you can see they're only a few seconds long to make your site more easier to load despite of the bandwidth You may also add your files by clicking upload media. If you want to add your own files, your own videos, own images, you can do so. But for now, I'll just stick with this one. Okay. Let's say I want to add another text box. I don't want to just um, use the existing ones here. So let's try going to the add menu you see a lot of things here okay. but I want what I want to add is a new text so I just click text and then I'll just this one let's say this one and I'll put it here Added it. it align center like that. okay so if we're going to adjust it a bit 
and then I want to change it to welcome to all visitors so I want to change the font color maybe yellow now it's hard to read so please check also your um, color that you're going to use make sure it's still visible to those who are visiting your site let's just stick with that okay so like that so if you want to add some more text here that's fine as well if you want to add an image go ahead but it's all about exploring okay so before we proceed let's save this particular site same with your other projects when using computers your other lessons always save now when it comes to Wix it has an auto save function Okay, once you once after you first saved it it will automatically save your work however I suggest you don't completely trust it because it has a certain um, time interval like for example every one minute or a few seconds it will save so if you're doing some a lot of things between those save points and suddenly you closed your your website or you lost your internet connection you will lose all that progress okay? which happened to me many times when I'm trying to create a Wix website and that's uh, considering that I even save a lot of times okay? so make sure you save it always so if, if you click save for the first time it will say choose a domain to save your site okay. so I made here this is my the email that I created email or the username that and this at the end you can edit it okay. so let's say caps lock is on make sure it's just small letters say Johnny block okay so it has an option here connect your uh, own customized domain however that will uh, you will need to pay for that because you're going to create your own specialized um, in, um, website address but if it's going to be on a free um, free plan or project, then just stick with this. We're only studying the basics after all. So click save and continue. As you can see, it's saving. You have this blue line that's going back and forth. You may continue working. On it. Just remember that the last, the one that will be saved will be the last thing that you did before saving up to that point. Okay. So your site is saved. It might take a long time for uh, when you save it for the first time, but I believe that after time goes on, if your internet remains consistent, then it will save faster. Okay. So your site is saved, it will say here publish your site, so you can see it, okay. I won't click it yet, I want to discuss what publish and preview does. When you click publish, it says here click publish to go live with your site so anyone can see it. It means that once you click publish, the things that you have here will be shown online. Okay, so teacher, why is it not automatically set to publish? Because there are times wherein you're just trying around stuff. Maybe you are you created a new blog post 
you still want to check it if it's grammatically correct or if you're happy with the image that you attached maybe with the text that you type so it allows you to first be sure are you now ready to for to make your changes to your blog available to others to see then that's when you click publish okay so for the purposes of your project please make sure that um, whenever you're done create uh, adding more stuff to your project for example you're adding a new blog entry you, you added uh, some new features like maybe pictures or text and you're okay with that already please click publish so that your teachers when they visit your site they will be able to um, see the changes otherwise they will see they might see just the beginning part okay so if you click publish put a check meaning if I visit this site here if I click to view site so anytime people go to this particular address or web address they will see this you may try it if you try um, going to this web uh, website open your Google Chrome or whatever web browser you have um, create a new tab then type I'm not a real email 112.wixsite.com slash Johnny blog it will bring you to this particular website okay so to just go back here go back to the same tab okay, let's ignore this for a while you can edit your site so that it will be viewable clear uh, more properly and more uh, clearly and org more organized on your mobile phones but for the purposes of the project you don't have to focus that much on it if you want later on go ahead but you don't need to for this project just stick with the PC one the PC version or the web browser version so you can just close this so what is the preview for so it says here, see what your site looks like on desktop or and mobile before you go live. So it will allow you to check what it looks like. If ever you click, once you click publish, what would it look like? Okay, if you want to know that, but you are not yet ready to publish your site, you can just click preview. Okay. It will show you this. It's still loading the blog posts, it, but, but basically, it's what it looks like. And if I go to the published version, it's quite the same. Okay, but this is just a preview. So when you put thing, when you see your stuff on preview, but you haven't published it yet, other people won't be able to see it. So please remember that. So we're not yet done editing our site. Let's go back to editor. Okay, now um, if you want to add images, you can go here, you can upload, you can go to free Wix images if you want to try it. You can just type some stuff here. For example, you want to put a picture of a dog. do so let's say I want to put a picture of hmm, let's say this dog add the page goes there my my blog posts are too close there so I, I would want to move them so I just move my mouse over to drag Make sure you're selecting the correct element, okay? Move it here and move this picture of a dog here. Don't want it too big. I'll put it there. And maybe I'll put some text. Let's 
it's edited. Spoot. Wow. You reached my page. Just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm showing to you are just the basics. So feel free to explore, feel free to try out things. There's always an undo button by the way. If you added something you're not sure where it came from, what it does, just want it to go back uh, to its previous state, then just click undo. Let this uh, enjoy your steak. So many. Okay. So there. So basically, you could move things around. Just click on them. So this is not in separate ones because this is a whole uh, session for your blog. So all your blog posts will appear here based on how recent they are. So the newer they are, the, they, they will appear on the higher um, part of the list. And if it's an older post, it will appear on the lower part of the list. Okay. So like that. So let's explore the blog, uh, the blog part because that's the one that you're going to focus on. Let's go to my blog. So you have your blog manager, blog pages, you have uh, add blog elements. Let's go to the blog manager. Uh, you can do stuff with just that. So let's go to manage posts first. So open a new window. So these blogs will be your journal part, the one we're going to make entries, new posts. Think of it like your Facebook posts. Whenever you make a new post, you can manage them here. Okay, so we're now here with the blog overview. Basically, this manages your blogs. You have your the posts here. These are just sample posts from the template. But let's uh, keep them for a while. On this side, you will have uh, these categories. You have the overview, which is the name suggests an overview of your blogs or a simplified look so that you can manage it better. You have the published, which will show what blogs you've already published or available for viewing. You have drafts. This is useful if you want to just type some stuff, you're not yet sure if you want to upload them, feel free to do so. It will, Wix will wait for you to um, give it the go signal for it to, pub, uh, to publish it before it will publish your blog posts. Schedule, usually it's used by people who want to create their blogs in advance but they want to schedule it on a certain uh, date in the future like for example two days from now and then like that but for your case you might not need to do so trash this is where you your deleted posts will go we haven't deleted anything so it's still empty categories this will allow you to sort your blogs for example, maybe you are making your personal blog site and then you want a category about your hobbies. These are the posts that are about my hobbies. These are the posts about my favorite food or about food or about the place that you visit. You can create those categories and then you can assign them to each of your blogs. We have here the sample ones, design basics, DIY design, real homes. They don't really mean 
not much. They are just, like what I said, descriptions of your posts. Okay? You can edit. We, maybe we could delete them later on since we don't really need them. Okay? And then writers. Um, I'm not familiar with this one, but I think this is used when people are sharing the use of one site. In this case, we only have this dummy email, which is what I named the account, the Gmail account, so that's why it says dummy email. So that's the only author or the only owner, so that's the only one here that is displayed. Let's go to back to blog overview. And let's create a new post. Okay, it says here add catchy title. You can start writing your posts here. So it's like making your Facebook posts, but there's a specific title included. Let's say what could we what could we place? Maybe let's put an awesome breakfast. For example, let's say I had an awesome breakfast today. So it's quite same thing as always. I'm not sure if you're hearing my keyboard strokes. Uh, let's ignore them. <laughs> Though it's quite the same thing as always. So I'm only going to put a sentence here so your teachers will be requiring you to write with a certain number of sentences but for the purpose of just showing to you what to do I'll just stick with this one sentence here you can adjust uh, stuff here for example I want to highlight this you can put it in bold yeah. You have some other options here. If you want this to be in the center instead, yeah, you can align it. So it's basically just a simple text editor, like your a sim very simplified Microsoft Word. Of course, this is gonna be boring if you're just if it, if it's just like this. So maybe you could add an image. Let's search for uh, sunny side up eggs. And this looks good. I'll add it here. So, if you notice, you can't simply move it so you might you'll need to adjust some uh, stuff here and let's say if you want to align right and if you're going to type stuff here let's continue being on the right and if you change the alignment to align left center like that. so just play around with the text editor for your blogs now you can add uh, multiple text for example let's say I type a new sentence here I also had uh, milk Go along with my egg sandwich. Let's add another picture. 
uh, let's see if there's oh uh, it will allow you to add a video from YouTube Facebook and then or upload a video from your computer if you choose video you can do so or maybe you can just go again with the available images Uh, this one. Oh, so be careful of what you choose as by the way so it says here buy images for $2.99 so if you click this it will automatically charge you don't worry it will ask you to fill out something so you can just skip it or go back so we have here some free images let's look for something interesting here no, they are just almond milk right, let's just stick with this what you could do also is you could download images using uh, images.google.com download them then re-upload them here you can just credit them on your web page okay, so let's say I have this okay. you have here the categories I mentioned earlier so let's say if this is related to real homes which obviously it's not you just click assign it on this category you can click multiple ones if it fits multiple categories you can create a new category if you want it's not really a required thing so you can just skip it as well you can add tags so tags are useful useful if you're for your site if you want to uh, especially if you lot you have a lot of posts already it will allow your visitors to your site to navigate and look for posts that are related to what they need if they need something for that's related to food or to travel it depends on what they need and what you are offering on your site so you can just add here so for example add a tag breakfast If you want to add another one, say eggs. Let's add another one. No. Nope. like that. And if you're happy with it, you can publish it. If not yet, you want to edit it some more, you can just click save. If it's not yet, save. Yeah. If you're going to preview it, this is what it would look like on your site. Okay, a breakfast, eggs, milk. And you have the cat, the tags here. If you click a tag on your website later on, if somebody clicks the, those tags and you have other posts that are they have similar tags they will be displayed okay so we don't need it anymore let's say we just want to publish it no it says do you want to share it on social media i suggest you just skip that just click next here okay if we're going to go back, we're going to close your uh, blog manager. Go back to the site. Okay. Let's reload it. Those other ones here. So, if you go back to your site and you reloaded it, if it doesn't 
work that well or there's something that's wrong you can try reloading it to see if it works properly now you could see my new post awesome breakfast okay. we're going to publish it okay if you go to the same site if somebody visits this entry here they will see this okay so basically that's it now it's very simple how you can create your own uh, blogs and manage it like that now let's do some tweaking for example you have here this awesome post but you don't want these other ones the sample ones okay so let's go back to your blog let's manage our posts again so what we're going to do is we're going to remove those uh, temporary temporary uh, blog posts or those sample blog posts go to um, overview okay so you have here your posts what we're going to do is we're going to um, delete them let's say this one I'll move this to trash make sure you are deleting the correct one move to the trash it will display your warning if you want to move it to trash so it so if you accidentally clicked on it at least you'll have a few more steps to go through If let's say you missed, uh, you made a mistake and you sent a post that's not supposed to be deleted, you can just go back to trash, click it, and then just hit restore. You can click multiple of them, and when you hit restore, okay, then they will go back. For our case, just need this. If you want, uh, so if we only have one post, if you need to make another one now, and create new post. Okay, simple as that. Now there are some areas here, so it might. And uh, if you noticed, it's not loading the same thing. I did design earlier. Just hit reload. And it should display the things that we had earlier. Okay. Click save. Always click save if you have an option to do so. If you're happy with that, you can click publish now or you just click done so you can publish it later. Either will do. Okay. Now there are some more things here. This one. Let's edit these. So these are uh, the menu. It differs from site to site, from template to template. So it's a lot more simpler here. If, for example, somebody's going to visit it okay you can see it's clickable if for example they had to blog it will show your blog page the page in your website specifically allotted for blogs we haven't touched that yet so which is why it displays the categories here it displays the 
uh, title here we didn't change it but what we only changed was for the home tab or the home page rather we have a podcast you don't really have you're not going to really make a podcast okay, so we don't need this so we can remove this later on about you can add something about you here don't need to put these contact ones so let's try changing those so how do you deal with that okay, let's go back to the editor okay, so they are in menus and pages so first and foremost podcast we don't need that page okay, so we're just going to click the three dots here and click delete don't need that so we'll be left with home blog and about if you want to edit your blog just click the blog you can rename it as well so you don't want it to be named blog you want it to be named journal and just click yes you want the about section if you want to rename it like who am I? Okay. So we can then change the names and it will reflect on your menu. Your page menu. Let's go to journal. We're basically done with the blog, the home page of the blog. Let's go to this journal page or the blog page. So how do we remove these? We don't need these, right? You'll have to go to blog, manage posts, and then you'll need to go to categories. Could just remove them don't really need them for the side you can make your new categories later on if you want to but we don't really need them okay so it will just display your posts now we have still this design for life it's quite different from what we have in our uh, main posts so we go to site menu, we go to home page. It's Johnny's blog here. So it's not designed for life anymore. So let's change it. But instead of just putting the same title of the website itself, let's make it up to your preference feel free to play around with uh, these if you want to so I want to add some shadow here okay now I want to edit my, the section about myself with the site menu so again go here menus and pages site menu who am I can replace the image here okay. you can upload your own photo if you want or let's say let's just have the dog replace it so you can add change the title here say hello there you can change this one let's make it who is Johnny make it a bit 
bigger let's make it the same as the blog post title Yanni. then you can add a description here Johnny is Johnny okay so feel free to add what you want to describe about yourself here and then you have the contact details we don't really need this since it's not a business or anything so I can just uh, delete it so what I did is I pressed the delete button on my keyboard I selected it then I deleted it okay you can add maybe pictures here if you want pictures about you so that's it so if you click publish let's view the site and have it here people click journal they will see the journal part okay. all your posts will be displayed here If you want, uh, if they click who am I, it will display the about page. Hello there. Okay. You can add another page if you want. Maybe like gallery where you put pictures or I don't know, videos. If you want to retain the podcast where you're recording audio of yourself and then you want to upload it. You may do so as well. So you just need to go... menus and pages again and create a new page okay, but you can just stick with these but if ever let's say you want to add let's make a blank page instead say you gallery Make it the same, I'm going to type it in capital letters as well. You want it after the journal part. Okay. So, close this. And let's say we publish it. There is the gallery page, it's empty right now. It. Let's view the site. Let's close this previous version of the site. And if you click gallery, there's nothing. Because your gallery is still empty. That shows nothing. Okay. So if you go to your gallery page, Add some stuff here. Maybe some images. Let's add another picture of a dog. Make just nothing simple. Mm, let's put this. Up. Let's stick with the free ones. Just say, let's have a dog over here. You can add some text to describe it if you want. But in the meantime, let's just add pictures. Say cat. Let's put this grumpy cat here. Is it so you can, do you see that um, red violet or pinkish uh, line so that's a marker that allows you to check 
the height or the dimensions of or the width of your images or your elements so in this case it appears if I resize it at this size meaning it's the same size as the other picture if I move it here like that you can see this horizontal line meaning it's aligned horizontally in the same level so it, you won't be you won't have images that are scattered around but they're still arranged okay, so I just want to add those two pictures click publish view the site again if I go to gallery okay, our pictures are already there okay so that's it basically that's the a very simple tutorial of how to use Wix Especially for the purpose of a blog site, making your own blog. So just a few reminders first. Um, before you publish uh, something, make sure it's ready enough. Or you've decided that, okay, I want to publish this. Or you proceed. <coughs> when choosing your web address please uh, stick with one okay, because as you can see it will be hard if you keep on editing this part here especially for your teacher if you edited it and you didn't update them they won't be seeing the changes that you made or maybe they'll get an error okay, so stick with one Send it to your teacher so that they can monitor your work weekly. It'll be easier. And also, of course, this is an online site. This will be published in the internet. So please, please, please be careful of the things that you are going to upload. Don't just upload anything that comes into your mind but think of it through a filter filter them in a way that do I really need to upload this if it's your personal information do they need to know my personal information okay, because you might not want them to um, see your private details especially for you and for example your address you definitely don't want to upload that online or maybe your, even your real name you can just make your uh, a fictional name or a pen name especially if you want to create your own blog even outside of the project like you just want to try out creating an online blog can do so but be careful your photos if you're going to upload a photo of yourself or of other people is this something that I would want people to have access to or to see in the future if, especially if it's an embarrassing photo please be careful hey you might not pay attention to it right now but later on it might come back and people might use it against you so be safe okay? it's, it's, okay, it's okay to it's okay and it's important to have fun doing this particular stuff but make sure you are also safe okay so if you have any more questions you can ask your teachers about it and I already communicated to them that I can I'll try to answer them as well especially if you're working on your website but just explore practice try out stuff don't be afraid to try out stuff the undo button here is uh, your friend okay 
the next all and hope you do your best on your project. Bye!